Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome. And I just want to quickly show you guys how to use software Forex. And I'm going to just jump straight into it. So when you up when you start with software Forex, first of all, it's on MetaTrader 4 only. Um, you would want to click on this data center. So this data center will help you get data onto your software Forex. And basically, just for now, we're just going to use Euro USD. So click download, uh, download five uh, years of Euro USD. And then use Duke's copy. I recommend only using this one. Um, so yeah, so that's basically all you need. You can click download to download any of the pairs you want to trade. Um, basically all the, um, yeah. So once you have downloaded it, you want to click to new simulator, new simulation. You want to put the provider as Duke's copy. And then you want to start the simulation at a preferred date. I recommend if you're using indices above, uh, like 2017, 2016 is good. Um, 2018 is good for this, uh, your USD starting balance could be whatever you want, Let's put 25,000 time on charts. I recommend to keep, um, GMT your pip size. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about lot size. Don't, you can worry about leverage if you want, but one to 500, 500. Um, I hope you guys know what leverage is. If you guys are watching this video spread. I just like to put fixed and then put two. If you put real, you know, sometimes the spread can change during the time of session. Uh, commission per, per lot, I like to put 3.5 usually. Um, you can obviously change this to whatever you want, whatever fixed the broker that you want to be using. Initial history on chart, uh, I like to put it as the max, which is only uh, 10,000, 100,000. So yeah, and then click start simulation. First, page that you're going to get is this chart selection. So basically this is how, where you're going to be able to uh, add your time frame. So we're just going to add a, an M1 for now. And to quickly show you guys, um, if you click type, you can have, you can add a Rick tick chart, a Renko range seconds chart, you can put a 10 seconds, 15 seconds, add 15 seconds for fun. So, and then you can go to whatever you want, standard. You can add a daily time frame, H1. And yeah, so after you're done with that, you want to click close or the X button. Now you have, oh, first you want to click open because if you don't click open, you won't have your chart. And I will quickly show you guys how to customize um your, your basically your, your outlook. So you don't have this nasty chart that, you know. Okay, so first, um, there's the zoom buttons over here and then next you can zoom in and out uh, with this over here. You have the candlesticks, bar charts, or line graphs, um, just for fun or just for simplicity, you can do alt two, and it'll change it to candlesticks. And if you click control G, it'll get rid of the grid. So already it looks way better. Um, now if you right click and you go to properties or click F8. Properties can help you change the color scheme. So you can change this to a, let's say a gray color scheme if you want or whatever type of color you want and just quickly do white. And then we're going to change the, the bar colors. So we can have a um, bar up will be green. Uh, bar down will be black. And then bar bear candle is what you have to be important to. Bow candle can be, uh, where's lime? Lime. Okay, so that's all you really need. Just bar up, bar down, bow candle and bear candle. And then you click OK. And you should get something like this. It's a little bright, um, but we'll make it work. So if you, I'm using, you know, the plus and the minus to so just zoom in and zoom out. Um, For some reason, my plus key doesn't really work. Um. I don't know why, but basically after you set up, um, after you set up your, your colors over here is how you access. Like if you had multiple charts, like the, the 15 second, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me quickly go back. So to save this, so you don't have to do this for every single chart, like over here, you would have to do change the colors and all that. You can right click and then go to template and then save template. Over here, you'll just save it to whatever you want to save it to, uh, test, and then you click save.
And then when you go to template on the next chart, you can go to your test or whatever you called it. I called mine beauty. It looks completely different, a little bit better. So over here, when you get another chart, you can just go to template and go to beauty and then boom, you have your 15 seconds looks nice and beautiful. So yeah, um, now to enter into trades. So over here, you have the data folder and let's just start from the top over here. You have a lot. So what are you going to be risking? You can risk 1%. You can risk this 5%. You can, if you want to risk a um, hundred lots, um, whatever you want to put. So that's lots. There is risk dollars. If you want to risk a thousand dollars right here, if you want to risk one dollar, it's right here. Um, you can go to visual mode. Uh, so you can basically all of this gets taken out. And I recommend always, always putting visual mode, always putting the session so you can know what type of session there is. Always clicking trade so you can have your trade window so you can modify, go break even. And these are the type of things that you guys should just you know, with time of using the software, which is obviously superior to TradingView completely. Um, and you'll just find out by just using it. So um, so here we have like history of charts, history on charts. So if you enter into a trade and we'll just go quickly enter, if you want to enter into a market position, it says market right here. You could, let's say we want to sell right here. Um, You would have your stop loss in red, and your TP in blue, and then not enough margin. Okay, so that means we don't have enough uh margin to take this trade for some reason. Okay, so we want we needed a bigger stop. Okay, so here's a good example. If you accidentally put your TP too low, or you want to move your 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 stop loss, or you want to move everything, um, you can just go to your trades scroll and then put modify and then you can put this like let's say this liquidity point right here and then you can click next bar to go to the next bar see what price is going to do and boom it stopped us out so we reverse over here you can go to real time so you can see how the price looks in real time how it acts um you can obviously scroll this all the way to an insane speed you know um, you can have like a normal speed, whatever type of speed you want. So that's like the, how do you even just control the, control the graphs and stuff like that. And this is Saturday, so it's not going to have um, any price action. So I just move to Tuesday. Oops, we had Saturday again. So I'm like zooming it. I'm like speeding up way too fast. Okay, right here. Sunday again. All right, so Friday. All right, boom. So like 158, you know, it goes nice and fast. Um, so here we have the news. So if you're using uh Euro USD, you can come over here where it says currencies, click that, and then click only Euro and USD, and then take off all, and then it will only give you news for Euro USD. You can take out low impact, you can take out high uh, medium impact, and you only show the news that's coming up. And if you want to see the news coming up in your charts. You click this news button and it'll show you when news is coming. Like we'll quickly see when's the news coming. Is there any news gonna come? And it'll show you uh where news is coming. It's like right here, there was news right here. At 10 o'clock there was news, and you could see oh, was it it was low impact unemployment rate? I don't know how that's low impact. I don't trade euro, but you could change that. Um so yeah, this is kind of how you use uh, software Forex. And I'll show you how to get into a limit order, and then I'm going to call it a day. So basically, if you want to get into a limit order, you have the buy limit, sell limit, and you don't really need to use the buy stop or sell stop. But if you want to get into a sell limit, let's say you want to sell above this. You put your TP right here, a little turtle soup action. Let's say you want to go right here, and then you can click next bar to go to the next bar. All right, so we're in our position right here. And if you see, it says we're minus $115. So you can go, um, you can click trailing set, trailing stop. You can trail your stop to the amount of pips. You can close partials. Um, You can click next candle to keep going through and boom, we get stopped out. 
you know, obviously I'm doing this for tests, but yeah, I hope this is beneficial. And if you didn't find anything, I'm going too fast. Just pause it, lower the speed because this is an intricate software and just basically gives you, kind of, I'm just trying to give you the rundown and how to use this. And yeah, this is a really amazing software I recommend and yeah, have a good day. Subscribe if you guys can. And yeah, I'll see you guys.